Hello and welcome back to Expo Op channel. Myself Rakesh and today in this topic we are going to learn about accurate invoice extraction by machine learning extractors. With that anyone who is very new to our channel please do subscribe to our channel for complete learning of UiPath and please be kind to like all our videos. With that let's go back to UiPath studio and have a check. So I was talking about invoice extraction. So here is the invoice and I'm going to provide you a link. This is from UiPath Academy provided in case you do not have you can always download from the description box. There's a link I'm going to provide you. Now from this invoice I would like to extract the data using machine learning extractor. In the studio I have configured machine learning extractor. We are going to build it from the scratch but let me first run you and show you what output is going to bring using the machine learning extractor first of all let's see that and then we will start designing it so let me quickly run it the machine learning extraction is running in okay so the run is complete let's open the output file and you can see how nicely it has pulled the vendor name, vendor address, bill to, invoice number, due date, subtotal, VAT, total currency. You can see that, right? So in this, we have used machine learning and let's understand how to design this. Okay. So let's get started. So this is our invoice and let's, the very first step is we have to design the taxonomy, right? To design the taxonomy, we'll click on the taxonomy manager and start designing so we are going to check lot many fields which is going to help you to understand the complete machine learning extractor so first of all let's me let me quickly create invoice accounts and i'm going to create the document type once the document type is created let's continue to add all the fields so the fields that i need is the vendor name Okay, go with multiple fields. That's where you learn a lot of things. So vendor name and vendor name is a text. Save it. Next I want is vendor address. So let's create another field. Vendor address, which is a text. Save. Then I need build to. Let's create build to, which is a text again next i need invoice number so i will say invoice number you can give your own field names done uh, and then i need the due date let's say new field then i'm going to say due date which is a date save and then um, I need uh, subtotal let's say new field subtotal so there are two things okay one is subtotal the other one is total so how do you how do you use the machine learning I'm going to show you the subtotal is a number so let's save it um, then I need the VAT I need the VAT so this is again a number and the last one that I need is total. Okay. So which is a number again. Fine. So what are how many fields you wanted to extract? You can place them and you are done with the taxonomy. Save it and close it. All right. So our very first step is done. We have created the, we have designed the taxonomy. Now the second step is about digitized document, which is quite simple. Just the OCR engine I'm placing in here. I'm using a message box to show you the output document text is the output I'm going to show you that so once the document has been digitalized our next step is classify document scope okay so classify document scope here in the keyboard classifier so all of this in case you need a detailed explanation I have already created multiple videos if you are very new please do watch those videos in detail you will have complete understanding so here in the invoice what are the keywords that we have in an invoice one would be invoice the other one would be bill to okay so let me use some keywords you can put as many numbers of keyword you want i'm just going with two 
okay so fine bill to should be a single word bill to okay so i've used two different keywords to determine whether it's an invoice so once it determines the document type right the output is going to be shown using the message box these are uh, why i'm going slightly faster because all this i have already taught you in the uh, videos okay i hope you should go through those videos first in case you have not all right so uh, once everything is done now i am into the data extraction uh, scope okay so this is done now let's configure the keyword classifier for the invoice yes it's selected save now next one is data extraction scope here in the data extraction scope let's use the machine learning extract okay this is where our objective is now here it is asking for the endpoint how do you get the endpoint it's quite simple to get the endpoint simply type in google public endpoint uipath docs public endpoint uipath docs if you type you have this link you will get for the endpoints okay so let's copy let's go to this and we are going to copy the endpoint url and this invoice looks to me is a kind of a us yeah, yeah it's a us based so i will go to united states i'm going to use this so depending on the invoice type which country it belongs to you can probably choose your own option so i'm going with this particular endpoint let's go to studio and let's paste the endpoint okay done now the next thing i i need is api key for the api key again go to your cloud.uipath.com click on admin click on licenses click on robot and services and here you have the copy api key very simple now once you copy this go back paste it pretty simple right and click on get capabilities all right so if there is any error you should find it here for me it looks okay there's no problem all right now let's click on configure extractor this is very important okay for machine learning expand this go to invoice so you remember you have created so many different fields that you would like to extract from that invoice let's say vendor name now for everything you have a pre-made machine learning which is going to pull the data automatically for you you don't have to write regex expressions or anything like that right it's going to automatically do the job intelligently for you now the vendor name so for this this is more appropriate i'm going to select name vendor address okay we have a direct vendor address now bill to billing name okay billing name bill to right billing name it has then invoice number we have a direct one uh, due date due date is there a due date uh, billing address okay we have a direct due date now the next one is subtotal right for subtotal let me tell you there are two things one you find as total and the other one you find as net amount the so net amount is nothing but your subtotal and total is your grand total okay so go with the net amount when you have to calculate the subtotal if you see there's a subtotal there's a tax got added and final amount is coming okay so if you need the subtotal go with the net amount okay net amount now for that there is something called tax okay this tax if you see this is a tax okay i'm selecting tax okay and for the total i can select total fine so now you have got all of this all of this uh, subtotal vat now what you do you create a create an excel file which is going to store where you are going to store the data right so let's uh, see this i have already created let's see if it is matching or not uh, first is vendor name if you look at the background vendor name vendor address built to because it's going to store in the sequence invoice number due date subtotal uh, and then i have vat then i have total okay and i have something called currency okay so I, let, let us add currency also okay so let me close this now to add currency how will you do it i need to add a new field again let's go to taxonomy manager okay 
now in the taxonomy manager click on invoice click on new field and let's say I'm interested also to see the currency which is a text type save done once you save it scroll down and save it okay save it and then close it so once you are done with that uh, click on configure extractor here under machine learning and expand it go to invoice and for the currency you can select with some direct you have something called currency so it is going to tell you is it a usd or it's a inr okay it's a indian rupees or it's a american dollars so let's save it so depending on the dollar you know currency type it's going to detect automatically so i'm done with the configuration now the very important part is writing to an excel okay so the next step that i'm going to use is export extraction results okay all this i have shown you and i have explained you data set how do you um, so whoever is watching this i'm i'm pretty sure you have already gone through those so i am not spending much time in explaining all these things but if you need a complete explanation please follow the document understanding playlist all right now let's see i'm doing a right range and uh, sheet one i'm writing from a2 and i'm using data set dot tables zero okay i'm going to pull the first index fine so the code uh, the uh, designing has been done let's save it and start debugging it okay so let's see whether it's it's able to pull the all the data or is if there is an error okay if there is any error we will correct it okay digitized document input document not found okay understood do you know why it is coming input document not found the variable that i have mentioned here document path if you go to the variable panel document path see i have not given the document path so let's give the document path so let's copy the path shift right click copy as path go there in the document path and paste it okay so once you're done come out of it and let's run okay let's see all right now it's trying to digitize the document it's always run in the debug mode so you can see where exactly it's processing now omni page ocr activity is done okay now the message box you can see it has digitized the entire invoice and it's showing in the text format okay i'm just using that variable now it is telling me uh, the classification is done and it's saying it's an invoice okay now for the invoice i have configured machine learning you can see it did not use anything else it directly jumped into machine learning because we have done the classification if it comes to invoice use this so it is automatically using that okay so our entire process is looks like it's completed all right it's done now let's open the file and let's have a check wow all right so vat uh, subtotal total usd let's compare uh, if you see the subtotal is 247 247 the vat is 47088 47088 and the total is 294 so that's where i was telling you for subtotal use the net amount for total use the total from the machine learning drop down and currency you can see it has selected it, it understood it's a usd dollar okay so that that's how smartly you can use the machine learning extractor and almost for all kind of invoices and receipts the machine learning extractor could be very very handy you don't have to write any expressions it becomes quite easy to use and you can easily extract the required amount of data from an invoice i hope you you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you are very very new thank you so much we are going to meet in our next video bye bye